Okay, with the uh, entranceway of Seoul here. Just uh, walk off to our left here. We'll see where the uh, the check-in is there. Just a bus uh, unloading now, though it's a bit uh, bit noisy. Got the sort of uh, travel agent section off to the left. Got some elevators here. It's a multi-story uh, complex, so elevators provided. Here we're in the kind of main uh, lobby area. Hopefully the uh, sound of that bus idling is not too loud. And uh, so over here to the right slightly, we can see the lobby bar. It's quite nice, nice mar marble floor everywhere. Looks like quite a nice, uh, nice resort. Got the lobby bar with a good selection of uh, rum and other other alcohols. Okay, so we just continue uh, kind of towards the beach area. Walk out here. It's a beautiful sunny day today. See lots of uh, seating out here in the sun. I don't think the resort is that full today. There's not a lot of people uh, around kind of the off season. See up to my left here is uh, the restaurant. You can also get in there from the, uh, just from the lobby. We'll check that out a bit later. Got a hot tub. Kind of the main, main pool area. And uh, got the mandatory uh, swim up bar. So the pool looks in pretty good shape, nice and clear and uh, well maintained. So we just spin around back looking at the uh, complex. You can see a lot of the hotel rooms are going to get a very nice view of the ocean. Uh, say most of the rooms are facing the ocean, they're going to get a pretty nice view, really. Uh, keep walking along here see what else uh, a little bit of music playing got a good vibe and the steps here down to the beach we're going to check that out a little bit later in the tour so here's the uh Here's the stairs here. We'll, we'll come back and take a look at that in, in a couple of minutes. So here they got this little walkway along here, which is quite nice. Just to pan off to the right there, you can see the ocean, a couple of sailboats out. It's about, uh, about uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It's kind of peak, uh, peak pool time, so not, not too many people in the pool. And they've got an outside uh, kind of pool, pool snack bar and bar. You can sit down and get a hot dog or a hamburger. They got the menu uh, up on a blackboard. I'll show you that in a second there. There's a seating area here. You can sit down, they'll come and uh, take your order, bring some food for you. And a smaller little bar by the pool. And uh, here's the snack bar menu. Got soup, sandwiches, hot dog, hamburgers, fitas, chicken, pizza. Pizza's pretty good. I'll probably have a snack a bit later. And some more seating uh, up on this side as well. All right, so we've kind of looped ourselves back to the uh, main lobby area. And we're gonna swing around and take a look at the uh, kind of main buffet restaurant. It's just off to our right there. You can get in there, but uh, we'll come in through the proper entrance and then we can 
walk through the uh, food you can get, uh, etc. So here we are back in the main lobby section. And here's the uh, main restaurant. They've also got the little sport here of all the various activities they've got each day of the week. It's kind of interesting. All right, so let's take a look uh, up here. We've got our wellness center. Take a walk through here. So we've got a little, little hot tub area there. Their pool, little pool area down there. Looks quite nice. You have your treatment, you can kind of relax there. Back around where I started. Okay, so here's the uh, the gym, not air conditioned. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. Some treadmills, some free weights, um, dumbbells, sort of universal equipment, bikes, rowing machine. Pretty basic, I would say, but uh, without air conditioning, I don't think this is practical. All right, so I think that's about it for the uh, spa and fitness center. Okay, so we're now back at the uh, entrance to the spa and fitness center. We can just uh, continue walking on the path here. The uh, entertainment section. Just got a pool table and uh, theater set up with some chairs. Nightly entertainment. All right, so let's uh, swing back here. Got a basketball court and a tennis court. It's pretty hot. I'm not sure uh, how much that's utilized here. Maybe when it's a bit cooler, but uh, it's a bit too hot now to be doing that. Okay, so now we're just uh, circling around back. You can see that's off to my left there is the, uh, the gym and the uh, spa. See some more rims up to my right here. Some rooms off to the left. That's the main complex there that we saw all facing the pool. So from here you can see we're going downhill a bit. It's a bit of a, all these properties here seem to be up, uh, up in the hill a bit. So we're gonna have to walk down a bit to get to the beach kind of get a glimpse of the beach uh, through there. <laughs> okay, so we're halfway uh, down to the beach. If you look up these stairs here, that'll get you back up to the pool area. And uh, we could head down these stairs here to the beach, or we can uh, head around on the pathway here, because that makes a little more wheelchair uh, accessible. If you want to come down on the, uh, the rampway here. Although, <laughs> getting through the sand, I think, is going to be a challenge regardless, but... 
Anyways, we'll get a look at the beach uh, once we get down here. So the beach is uh, it's pretty nice. Um, you know, not not the best beach I've seen in Cuba, but it's it's not bad. It's pretty calm. Not a lot of waves. Uh, the few days we've been here, no waves really. Talked to the guys in the beach hut, and they say generally it doesn't get wavy. So if you're not looking for waves, this is a good uh, good option. So this is quite nice. There's lots of trees here. Lots of you know you want to stay in the shade. You get a little baked. Hang out in the shade or, of course, get in the sun. That's always the easy option. Lots of little shade things. Really no shortage of uh, beach chairs and shade here, which is quite nice. Sometimes that's a problem at some resorts. Got a volleyball net out there. So now we'll get uh, getting down closer to the beach. So I think one thing these guys could do a bit better is like cleaning up some of the beach. There's a little bit of sticks. And, like there's not much in the water really, but uh, they should really come by and kind of rake up uh, some of the sticks that have blown up. You can see they're kind of in piles. They're probably in the process of, uh, of doing that, so that's good. Um, sand is quite nice. Uh, there is uh, some rocky sections. You have to be kind of careful uh, where you're going into the water, kind of avoid the, the rocky sections. But the area down this side of the beach is uh, probably a bit better. Uh, we're staying up at the uh, Paradiso. That's uh, so it's actually more rocky there, I'd say. Um, yeah, I was just going to walk on the beach here. You can see there's a fair bit of uh, sticks kind of piled up. I think their maintenance guys are just getting them ready to put in a truck or something. You can see they've got some sailboats uh, out in the water, paddle boats. The uh, the staff will uh, will pilot the sailboats for you. They won't they won't let you take them out. I tried. They won't. Um, some good sized paddle boats. Um, I've seen people out on those. Generally in the morning though, it gets a bit more windy in the afternoon. But uh, it's actually quite big paddle boats. I saw like four people on them. You got a couple of people paddling. You can actually use them to take them out to the reef maybe and do some snorkeling. But someone's got to <laughs> stay with the boat um, at least. Yeah, so pretty good, uh, pretty good beach here overall. Just uh, a little more maintenance, really. I think on cleaning up the sticks, I think would be uh, really the only issue that I see. Anyhow, if you like uh, like the video, uh, please subscribe, and uh, you'll get more uh, more alerts when new videos come out. And uh, don't forget to like. Thanks for your time.